Hi there. I'm here today to reveal how you can forecast your district student enrollment. You have two clear choices when it comes to forecasting student enrollment at your school district. Number one, you can do something. You can complete a very expensive consultant completed enrollment projection study. Or number two, you can do nothing. And maybe you're thinking, my enrollment is going to be what my enrollment is going to be. Well, that is until your school board, your community, your budget, or your facilities committee need enrollment answers. Then what do you do? You go out and you hire a consultant to complete that $10,000 enrollment projection study. An enrollment projection study is good to help move the decision along with your board and community. I get it. We've helped convince boards to reduce expenses and add new facilities because of their future student enrollment trends. This fall, you will count your by grade student enrollment. You and I both know that the student count will be different than last year's count. Your enrollment is not static and it's dynamic. Your by grade enrollment changes every year and you need to adjust your student enrollment projections in real time. That is, without the cost of a consultant completing an enrollment projection study. Would you start to build a house without a clear architectural picture of what you wanted it to look like? No, you would not. Yet the number one mistake many of us make is to react to our enrollment when someone wants answers, rather than proactively projecting our student enrollment on an annual basis. We ask the question, what keeps you from projecting your district's by grade student enrollment? The most common answers we receive went something like this. We can't pay a consultant $10,000 to complete an enrollment projection study. And the fact is our enrollment changes annually. So the enrollment study is obsolete. We can't pay a consultant to do a new enrollment study every year like the big districts. So we just don't forecast our student enrollment. Here's the big revelation. When I deliver an enrollment projection study to a school district, the first thing people do is flip to the table of contents, and then they find the total enrollment served page. Why do they immediately go to the total enrollment served page? Because it is an enrollment projection study. Well, why? because the enrollment numbers are going to change when they take their fall enrollment count and the projection will need to be completed again. So whatever you do about forecasting your student enrollment, please avoid these three things. First, avoid doing nothing. The trap of I can't forecast our student enrollment. With our enrollment projection tool, you can forecast your enrollment for the next 10 years. Second, avoid doing something without a plan. Paying a consultant to complete a detailed enrollment projection study is great, but are you willing to pay the consultant to continue to do an enrollment study annually for the next five or 10 years? Probably not. And third, avoid the doom and gloom. Ignore the notion that all millennials are moving into the urban core. You are a medium or small school district. You might be losing enrollment, but at what rate? Projecting your enrollment will give your district a vision for the next five to 10 years. The K-12 enrollment projection tool is simple. You simply insert your resident student enrollment, insert your resident students who leave, and insert your non-resident students who enter the district. The projection tool runs all the cohort migration calculations for you, and immediately you have a 10-year enrollment projection.